Hi, Year Eleven. You guys have just finished your GCSE exams, which is great, and now you are free. But you don't want to waste this massive summer that you have ahead of you. So here are twenty-five things to do whilst waiting for GCSE results day. One, clean your room. It would have gotten quite messy in exam period, and this might just give you a little bit of internal calm. Two, get rid of your old notes. You can hand them down, give them to the school, sell them, bin them, whatever you feels right. Three, any old textbooks that you have, sell them online. You will be surprised as to how many people will actually buy them. Vinted, not sponsored, is a really good method. You don't have to pay for delivery; the other person does, and you can get quite a lot of money from it. Four, go to the sixth form or go sixth form or college shopping. From clothes to notebooks, pens, folders, anything you want, you can now buy because you are now available to do that. Five. Go out with your friends. You will not have this much free time again. Even when you're doing your A levels, you have less of a free time because it finishes later. So try and make the most of it. Six. Make a healthy routine. Focus on your physical and mental health, which has been discarded by exams, and employ body, hair care routines, affirmations, yoga, exercise, whatever makes you feel better. Seven. Extend your current hobbies. Become a master of the things you normally love to do: painting, drawing, taking photos. But eight, make new hobbies as well. Sign up for local clubs. Do courses about new things: horse riding, karate. You can do online courses and become parts of different types of communities. Nine, find work experience. Even a day's work experience can be really beneficial, and you can put it on your CV. Ten, get a job. Some of you who are already sixteen can already get a job, and most of you will be by time this video airs. So you might want to start saving up for university or just general life. Eleven, create or add to your CV. The earlier you make this CV, the more you will thank yourself in the future because you're going to start start to forget all of the things you've done over your time in school. Twelve, learn a musical instrument. Piano, flute, drums, guitar, whatever you want. Or if you already know a musical instrument, then just extend your knowledge of that. Thirteen. Learn a language, whether it can be your home language or a foreign language. Embrace the culture of other places. Fourteen. Learn how to code. This is an asset for your CVs, and there's so many free courses available online. Fifteen. Start a website or a blog or a social media account. It's a perfect time to become an influencer. You have all the time in the world to do it. Sixteen, tutor younger years. This ensures that you don't completely log out of the educational mindset, and you feel better because you're helping others, and you can also gain money from this too. Seventeen, actually go and visit your sixth form or college. See what it's like. Eighteen. Help slash spend time with your family. Anything from giving advice about school to the real world, to actually just spending some quality time with your family that you wouldn't have had chance to do before. Nineteen. Study for A levels. Now you don't have to make notes on the whole of an A level, but bridging courses for subjects like maths can be quite necessary because the gap between GCSE and A level maths and some other subjects can be humongous, especially if you're doing subjects where you haven't taken the GCSE. For example, if you haven't done GCSE economics, then you might be disadvantaged than other people. So it might be worth getting a bridging course done. Twenty. Predict your GCSE results. If you're feeling restless about results day, this actually might help with the fear of the unknown. Twenty-one. Buy textbooks for A levels. If you know exactly what you want to do, then feel free to do this before the rush just before school starts. Twenty-two. Travel to different places. Avoid the busy traveling times and the much higher prices during the summer period, and do this early when it's much more quieter. Twenty-three. Read books or visit the library. Anything from motivational books to fiction. Reading has so many benefits, and visiting the library can actually be quite a nice experience. Twenty-four. 
binge watch your favorite shows. You are allowed to relax and feel free to do this. You have all the time you want. 25. Finally, sleep. You probably didn't get much of this during GCSEs, so it's a good idea to build back your sleep routine. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and be stay in tune for the 25th of June surprise and big announcement that we have. But again, thank you for watching and year 11's well done for working so hard this year. Another great year and can't wait for GCSE results day.